Today is Looper Day in my kingdom. That means it is day one of, in my main account, it is day one of the Marauders event. This is a massive opportunity to strengthen your account, strengthen your kingdom, and really this is the next step for uh, jump projects and projects that want to become huge kingdoms. What you need to understand is that a looper account can land in your kingdom or you can guide where your looper account lands. What you need to do is go into the account that's at less than 10 million, the dormant old account has been dormant for more than 30 days and we're going to try and land it with my new uh, account that I've been building up over the last uh, 60 or 70 days. So this is the welcome back picture you need. There are two different events. One does not have the winding road and one, uh, one has the option of winding road or new journey and one just has the option of new journey. We don't really know the mechanics of why this triggers or, or why not. But certainly the one we want is the winding road. If we then go on to that, we will see the options of where we can land. Now, this is interesting because it is offering what is the gold star in my kingdom, which is, which is not what I'm expecting. But my account, or my main account, is currently in 3141. That's where I want to join up my accounts. So I'm going to immigrate there. And let's go. I'm going to have to lose a few resources. Now this account is just a farm. But in a moment I'm going to show you another main account which I have joined up with my current main account. Whoops, you got to put this in capitals. The Reet. There we are. Confirm. Is that not going? There we go. Delete. Kingdom can only accept one migrant per minute. So lots of people are doing this today. It's a great day to land in uh, or loop into my kingdom. Now we are currently not the gold star. Which is interesting, but because this account was less than 1 million, the gold star was offered. Where on my account that was 9 million, it was not offered. So that's interesting for my research. Let's land it there. And then this will be more resources for my main. But then I'm going to show you my main account and what I have done or how I have landed. I now have two main accounts there. I've doubled the number of tier four that I have available for KVK1. Let's have a look. So, obviously though, to operate two nine million accounts though, you would need a PC set up with Bluestack or one of the other programs that help you do that, or two mobile phones, of course. But I only play on one mobile, so the second account will more act as a farm or somebody that I can just send T4 to a flag. So here we are. I've landed in the kingdom that I want. Let's now go back to my main for a moment. Settings, uh, account, switch accounts, Facebook. Let's land it. So here we are back on my main account. So that's just a 700k farm. But let me show you this now. So some of you may recognise the account that I was playing and building up is now joined my new main account. So let's have a look. I'm looking forward to doing some tests now that I can control the sides in Sunset Canyon. So here is my current main account. Brilliant. If I go into profile and settings, you will now see that in this kingdom I have two main accounts. Any moment now. Brilliant. So 3141, I've landed the account that went dormant on the 12th of April 23, which is less than 10 million. So I've doubled my power. 
I've brought in another 180,000 tier 4. Uh, I also have a major, uh, very good Sunset Canyon team in both accounts, which can be very useful for making sure I get in the top 5 on the account that I want. Um, so this is hugely important. Uh, but the important things to take away from this video is to join your accounts up, you need to use day one of the Marauders. That's when you can land your old account where you want. This account that was over no, over 9 million did not offer me the gold star, where my farm that was 700,000 did offer the gold star. So that's interesting to take away. But it suggests that there's a, the gold star cannot take the just under 10 millions, which is interesting. Um, obviously, this is going to be this could be game changing if done on scale. So, if you had a jump group with your pay to play players, took hold of a kingdom, your sleepers or your free to play sleepers then join on day 10, making your kingdom the gold star. You then attract many, many. Um, uh, immigrants then brilliant but if the kingdom then fails or falls into civil war and is not the gold star you have a second opportunity to make the account or make the kingdom strong again using the looper day and looper day is the first day of the marauders so let's go there first day of the marauders which is this event here eve of the crusade stage one the lost secret which is the marauder event I hope this video helps somebody. I hope this makes your kingdom far stronger. I now have two times the amount of tier 4 than I did yesterday, which should be a huge help to my alliance. I also now, let's have a look, I have somebody that I can run very high. Um, I can two-man forts with my strong second account. So I've got lots and lots of things I can do. Let's have a little look down here. There we are, 12th of April, 23. We're in the same alliance, so let's find a nice spot and start doing some forts together. Uh, so I hope this helps somebody. I know I've not been putting many videos up now, but this is quality information. This is the dark arts of free-to-play. This is how to become super powerful when you're free-to-play. Thanks for watching.